to make a flower cookie on a stick. I'm gonna tell you how you can make beautiful flowers in a fun way. For these cookies you are going to need different flower cookie cutters, wooden sticks, different sizes as well, and a slightly beaten egg. And of course you're gonna need your favorite or best cutout cookie recipe. Okay? Let's get started. You need to have your cookie dough cold. So now you're going to start cutting your cookies. And then you're going to transfer them to your cutting to your baking sheet that it's already lined with parchment paper. Okay, we're going to do that. I'm going to make one of each. These cookies are perfect for birthdays, for Mother's Day, um, any, any occasion. Who doesn't like to receive flowers and mostly like cookie flowers? Okay, I'm also going to do a little butterfly and a bumblebee, okay? So, let's do the bumblebee, let's do the little butterfly. I think I'm going to do two butterflies and just one bumblebee because not too many people like bumblebees. Okay, so now we are going to use this one. This one is like a has like a design on it. As I told you before, these cookie cutters are a little bit tricky. So move around your cookie cutter, and then you will have your cookie like that. And then later on, you can cut the excess with a knife or with your fingers so it looks a little bit like this and so you're not going to have trouble taking it out of your cookie cutter okay also do this with the stick Now let's do the second part. Very well. Preheat your oven at 350 degrees and then we're going to use the egg and the wooden stick. Okay, so you have your cookie here. Then you are going to dip your stick in your beaten egg. And then you are going to flip your cookie and insert the wooden stick like this and push a little bit not all the way through obviously and then flip it open okay this is one way how you can do that another is to insert your cookie in in the place that you want to you just have to insert the stick and then push it so it doesn't get like like that okay so for the bumblebee I'm gonna do the same I'm just gonna use a smaller I'm going to insert it okay and press it over then Little one like this. Both ways are very good and your cookies are gonna be good. Okay, also sometimes I like to 
to use my cookie dough a little bit thinner so the the, the cookie is not so heavy so I'm going to leave it like that press it over so the design won't get messy Perfect. We have one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna do a little one. Oh, the butterfly. Okay, so I'm gonna do the little butterfly. And also, I'm going to do one small flower. Tiny flower. How cute it is. Okay. Cool. And we're going to bake them at the same 350 for like about 13 to 15 minutes depending on your oven, okay? Let's bake them. Very good, our cookies are ready. As you can see, the little ones try to, they get done faster. So you have to be very careful so they don't get burned. Okay, so then you're going to transfer them to your cooling rack very carefully. These ones that are bigger, you're going to let them set a little bit and then you can transfer them to your cooling rack. Okay, so uh, we're going to let them cool. You are going to need a baking sheet with a cooling rack like this because you're going to make a big mess, okay? And you're going to need big sprinkles similar to this or whatever you have in your sprinkle collections, okay? Then you are going to need flat plates. You are going to need sorry, floating consistency icing in different colors, okay? I'm going to use these super bright colors because, you know, I like bright colors. I hope you can see them. So now we're going to make a little bit of magic. These cookies are going to be very, very easy. Very good. I'm going to start with the pink. So these deep cookies are very, very easy. And I think so. The, those were the first ones. So not of the first one, but this is like a very old-fashioned technique. Maybe you remember your grandmother or your mother making the cookies like that. Okay. So we're going to pour the icing in the plate like this. And then, we are just going to dip our cookie on it, okay? So our cookie is already cool, so you're going to dip your cookie. And shake your cookie. And that's it. So you are going to put a little sprinkle in the center just like this okay. how cute and easy is this okay you're gonna let it dry and then I think I'm gonna do another thing that I like is to mix the colors okay so for example you're going to you want to imitate nature well, it's so hard to imitate because it's so beautiful, but you know how the certain flowers have like two colors on it. So, you can do any design on your icing and then you're going to stamp your cookie on it. Look how pretty. 
and you can use this technique to make oh my goodness like many many cookie designs so you're going to get crazy and then put the center a big sprinkle okay so then you can add more color and you can make different color combinations and you are going to repeat the same thing with all the flowers that you have Okay, I put a lot of pink on the center and the green. I'm going to add a little bit more green also. Close to the pink. Now I'm going to dip my cookie. Wow, how pretty, look, so cute. And then for the pink center, I'm going to add a little bit of green. So I can make like a little center and also I'm going to add a little bit of green here and then I'm going to drag it how good it looks a little bit of green in here in the center. So this one, I'm not going to put any sprinkle on that one because it looks already super cute. Look how cute. Okay, let's put the bumblebee. I'm going to, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try. I'm going to make the lines. And try to put my bumblebee kind of where I think it's gonna go so his body is like that so let's flip it and do it like this oh looks cute though okay it works very nice. 
so you can mark them later also if you want them to look more black but it looks cute I like it now that your cookies are ready with a medium consistency icing you're gonna mark the center of the flower and also you're gonna mark the petals of the flowers and you're going to do the same thing with all the other cookies and also you are going to do this with the butterflies and the bumblebee for the butterfly you are going to mark the wings and also using the black icing you are going to mark the center of the butterfly you also are going to use the black icing to mark the details of the bumblebee and when you have all your flowers ready you can make a bouquet I think that's it. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, share it with your friends and leave me a comment if you like this video, if you have any suggestions or you have any questions. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!